Hey guys, welcome back. I'm a little late on the Titanfall, but I figured I would put something up for you guys. So we here we go. So let me bring this up to full screen so I can because uh, I'm watching one of my I'm watching my replay here. So uh, real quick run cap: What is Titanfall? Uh, Titanfall. Um, I may be a little off on some of this, but is made by the guys that made some of the original Call of Duty series uh, when they broke. Uh, from when their company kind of was acquired and they went off and did their own thing. They were acquired by EA, and uh, they've been working on Titanfall. So it's got a lot of call... It feels very Call of Duty-ish, uh, which is good. It's good. Uh, I, I enjoy those series, and it's good to play a game that's like that. Uh, this game's a little different, though, is it, um, it introduces mechs, which, you know, everybody knows if you're going to make something better, mechs make everything better. So we'll start off with the ground troops. Um... Basically, you're is a pilot. Uh, you're thrown into the battle. After so many kills or so, or so much of a score, you will be able to call down your Titan. Um, you'll get three main weapons. You'll get your uh, sidearm, your main gun, and then you'll get a tight anti-Titan weapon. Uh, so basically, you're not completely gimped when someone's running around in a giant suit, uh, which is awesome. Got to tell you, I do love the idea of that because you you're effective against them. It's not something that's just the, oh great, I'm you know basically going to just annoy them now so that they'll try to shoot me. Um, to be honest, though, most time when there are mechs on the field, the mechs are concentrating on other mechs. Unless there's none around, then they're going to go after the little guys, but uh, that is what it is. Uh, Gameplay is very fast. Rounds are very fast. Uh, so that's, that is a good thing. Uh, anyway, so, like I said, the pilots, playing as the pilot is pretty standard. Um, two different kinds of pistols. Uh, one is a standard pistol, just a point shoot, just like any other shooter. The other one is an auto-aim, which you kind of see on some of these. You'll see where it's got like a little reticule, and it'll auto-lock on things, and you just pull the trigger, and it will shoot those things. So that's kind of uh, nice. Uh, the balancing aspect is the time it takes to load on to a target uh, does make you a target. So that's that kind of balances that out. Uh, as far as the mechs go, um, I think I'll get one here in a little while, and you'll kind of get an idea. Uh, but we'll just give a quick rundown. The mechs are basically pretty much almost the same as when you're playing in the first-person style. Uh, not a whole lot of difference in it other than, you know, the guns are bigger, you take more damage, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they get two primary modes of fire. You get a main gun, and then you get, like, an alternate fire, which is like a rocket barrage, uh, which is kind of nice when you're firing and you're reloading. It gives you something to throw at your enemy, and that works pretty good. Uh, so, anyways, you can kind of tell from the gameplay. I mean, like, it is, it's, it's very quick. Like, you run around, it's, it's like any other Twitch game. It's just run, shoot, die, respawn, rinse, and repeat. Um, you kind of see uh, me take out the Titan weapon here, and I'll go after a few Titans. Uh, you know, so it's, and then, like I said, it's effective. It's, it makes it really nice. Uh, you also get a kill cam, so you kind of get to see who kills you. And I'm assuming that's going to stay through most of it, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, looks like uh, I'm trying to think if when I bring the Titan in. I don't remember what kind of Titan I, uh, what kind of Titan I had, because uh, there were basically two two different types you had access to during this beta over the weekend. Uh, this will probably be a game I'll probably pick up. I don't know if I'll be posting much on the channel with it. Uh, I'm, you know, EA is one of those companies. It's a little funny on how they like to do YouTube monetization, so. And I like to stick to games that are very clear-cut on what they allow. Um, so anyway, but that's just neither here nor there. He said the game's good. Uh, the beta was very well. The beta really wasn't a beta. Let, let's be honest. Uh, I heard a lot of people talking about it. Uh, Cynical Brett was one of them on, on Total Biscuit. That uh, this was more like a demo. It was very limited scope in what you could play as. Very limited in the maps. It didn't really matter, to be honest. It still was fun to try it out and to get a chance to test it. It was a, basically what they were doing was load testing the server. They wanted lots of people to play to see how the servers handled under massive amounts of uh, player bases. So I'm going to assume it's going to be non-server based, uh, meaning that when you load in, it's just going to auto match people up. And I guess you know, some Yahoo will be the be the host, which will you know we all know how well that works. Uh, but we'll see if it allows you to uh, actually purchase servers to run and moderate and whatnot. So it is what it is. Um, you'll see me walk around this Titan here. I mean, it's, the Titans uh, don't get a jump. They get like a sprint dodge thing, which uh, works kind of good standing out of the line of fire. But I've never been great at Twitch games, to be honest with you. Just, just to be completely bare bones honest. Uh, and the, the melee key is on, I think... 
how to like see, which is really weird for me because that's normally crouch or stealth. So I'm like, you'll see me try to crouch on stuff, and I'm like, all of a sudden I'll kick a wall. Like, yeah, you know, what the hell? So anyway, uh, but yeah, it, it's good. The game's fun. It's you know you have, and that's the real key to a game is when you're playing it, are you having fun playing it? And if you're having fun playing it, then it's a good game. You know, and don't let anybody ever tell you otherwise. Even if everybody else hates the damn thing, tells you you're stupid or whatever. Because I've had a few games that I've liked that I've been told were no, it's a bad game. You shouldn't like that game. Oh, what the hell? You know, I like the game. I'm sorry. You know, uh, I can't give you a specific example because I can't remember any right now. Uh, so while this is finished up and you can watch some of this, uh, just do a real quick uh, update on the channel. Uh, we're still doing the Minecraft. Uh, no new games coming out as of yet that uh, got my attention to do any kind of other content on. Uh, I tried to do a little bit of uh, Trials Evolution the other day, and that didn't work out too well. Um, I, I, the map selection thing where you get to select and download your maps really sucks. Um, oh, let's flip back to Titanfall again. One of the, th of the nice, nice things is you do get the Titans fairly quickly, so you're not on foot a whole lot. Um, oh, and I also missed mentioning there are NPCs in the game. Uh, basically, each side has robot bots that run around and um, I wouldn't say they're necessarily effective they're just there's something else to shoot at so there's something else you know to, to add another layer of dynamics to the game to whatnot one of the interesting things I did notice uh, when you're playing this is your team loses like you'll see on mine um, if we get defeat so when you get that you have to get to the extraction point. So I guess there's going to be a storyline-esque mode to the multiplayer, I guess depending on your character, uh, that you'll get a little bit of a story with that. So that's kind of an interesting feature. Uh, but anyway, so you have to make your way to the extraction point. Uh, now I did watch a, uh, a video earlier, and I don't know if, and I don't know if they, I don't know if they did it in mind, uh, where anyway the people there's like a little drop ship and you've got to get to it and when you get on the drop ship uh, it's try they killed it they killed the drop ship so I don't know if they got extra points for that or if it's just something that can happen I'm not sure uh, you know a lot of this video is just me getting owned but anyway so Titanfall if you like uh, Call of Duty especially the early ones and you like shooters in general if you like mech games, yeah, there, you know, you'll see. I think you will, you will see it blow up at the end of this one. Uh, if you like mech games, you know, hey, pick it up. It's worth it's worth the purchase. It's, it seems to be a good, solid game, and uh, I think think you'll like it if you like those style of games. If you don't like them, you know, give it a give it a while. Wait for it to go on sale, then pick it up. I do that with a lot of games. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Check out next time. Catch y'all next time. Uh, check out the website, 8 Follow me on Twitter. Uh, like and subscribe to the videos. Love seeing you guys. Catch you later. Take care.